Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and today I want to talk about perfection. For me, it's something that's been driving me crazy for so long. How many of you get caught up in this idea of everything that I do must be perfect? Heck, I'm even all up here about this video needing to be perfect to make sure that I'm not messing it up so that I've got more vibrancy into it, so I've got engagement going on and all of these things. And at the end of the day, if I start listening to that thought that is really going on so loudly in my head, I'm not gonna actually get this video out to you guys. The one thing that I've really, really found that has been a big shift in being able to step into that space where perfection is not something that's stopping me from taking action is to really get connected in with myself, to really understand who I am as an individual because for so long when I'm not stepping up and actually take action in on what it is that I want to work towards and trying to think okay it all has to be perfect what does it mean to be perfect it's something that is so unattainable but yet society is, is encouraging us to always be perfect always get that top mark to never get anything wrong and that programming comes through to everything that we do and if you're not able to break that start to really disconnect with worrying about is it perfect do I have the lighting here absolutely perfect is the setting ideal? Is the outside audio okay? You know, if I start to really think about all of these little things, I'm never actually going to do this video. And I'm not going to do any of the other videos because I'm going to be so caught up with worrying about what everybody's going to think. And see, that's the key part in there. When it comes to this idea of perfection and starting to break the mold and just being able to take action, because at the end of the day, perfection is ultimately a action killer. It's the one thing that's going to hold you back from achieving those goals that you said that you want to achieve. Because let's have a look at society. We've got social media. Everybody's trying to post the most perfect photo, all the edits on it and everything like that and it starts to create this false, fictitious world in which we're living in. But yet when there's an authentic, real post, they're the ones that really a lot of people engage with. The one that shows that vulnerability, the one that really shows that rawness because we all can relate to it. A lot of us can't relate to this idealistic world that is being portrayed through the social medias. So how to break this idea and this connection with perfection? First and foremost, it's going to come down to being connected with yourself. Really start to do some inner work and just understand where that frustration is coming from for yourself that is not allowing you to take action. What is it around worrying about what other people think about what you say, do, or look like that is stopping you from taking action? Because that's what's been stopping me all these years. And you know what? After finally breaking through and building that connection with myself and really honoring my own path to self-mastery, it's almost like you get to a point where you just don't necessarily care what anybody else is going to say. Sure, it still bothers you. It's still going to worry you. But the thing is, is it's not going to stop you from actually setting up the camera here in a public park area and just standing there and just taking action and just delivering a video that you believe has got the content to it and is working towards having an impact in the world that you're out to achieve. You know, if that's your journey, or maybe it's a case of taking a step on a new job, but you're worried about what everybody's gonna think because at the end of the day, you're stepping out to chase your passion and your dream when everybody else is saying, no, you should have that, that safe nine to five job because at the end of the day, this nine to five idealistic world is the perfect, way that society says that we should be. You know, it's all about listening to your heart, listening to you, not listening to everybody else and what they're saying. Sure, take on board some of the ideas and the feedback, granted, because that ideas and feedback is gonna be very, very helpful for you moving forward because they're gonna highlight the areas in which you need to understand might become a challenge, might have some sort of adversity to you on the path in which you're working towards. So step into that space of self-love and self-worth and just build it up within yourself. Be it, take some time out for yourself, go and sit in the park and just listen into that inner conversation. Understand what it is that you really want. Just start to really build that up for yourself because when you do, you're going to find that you're not necessarily going to care what other people are saying because you're so connected within that inner passion and that inner drive as to what it is you want to achieve. That's going to be the one thing that is really, really prominent in your life. See, for many, many years, I stopped. And I would take a couple of steps and then I would sort of take a couple of steps back because I was so worried about, oh, if I said this and then I got all this negative feedback and then I would step back and I would be like, oh my gosh. And that was just that people pleaser element in me that was just saying, oh no, people don't like you. Oh, 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 I must, I must please everybody. Therefore, I must not do what I'm doing right now because I'm getting this negative feedback and I'm starting to, you know, brush people the wrong way. And this is what I kept telling myself. Your life, my life is only so long. And at the end of the day, when, when it's our time to go, as you hear so many people say, the only regrets that people have at that time in their life is that they didn't live more for themselves. It's not a case of that they worked more or they pleased more people or anything like that. It's that they didn't go after their goals and their dreams. And see, my vision, what I've connected to in myself is that higher passion of my own self and knowing that
that this is what I'm here to do. It's to impact others. And if I'm not willing to step up and really step into that space, then what good is it? Then I'm not fulfilling my own purpose for being here. So when we think about this idea of perfection and we start to really break down what it means to be perfect, because perfect is something that is so unattainable, it's just not ever gonna happen. But yet when you can be comfortable with good enough is good enough with the content that you're putting out, it's all about getting that content out. It's all about taking that step. It's all about jumping and not necessarily knowing what is going to be on the other side. You don't have to have it all figured out as much as I keep telling myself that you know everything has to join up and it has to be perfect before I take that step. I need to understand that if this happens, okay, then I go this way. If this happens, then I go this way. I need to be able to understand all of this. And I'm sure you can probably relate. Start to break that connection with perfection and you do that through connecting with yourself, getting clear as to who you are as a person, understand what your values are, understand what your beliefs, your goals, and your dreams and your deepest desires are. Because when you really connect into that, everybody else's opinions don't necessarily have the same amount of weight. As I said, still listen to them, but don't take them on board to the point where they stop you from taking action. And that feedback, that negative feedback that you get is beautiful. Why? <laughs> because I know in the first early days when I started to step out and I was getting all this negative feedback and I had a lot of people expressing their opinions about why I should be doing something else, that feedback was like, okay, I need to go and have a look at this. I need to grow stronger in this area and of my knowledge so that I can then fully understand it all for myself. And when I started to do that, well, you start to step in stronger. You start to really take some bigger and deeper actions. So go and take action today. Don't even worry about what it looks like. I challenge you and write it in the comments. Let me know what action you're taking today based around it not being perfect, but just knowing that this is something that you've got to take. Maybe it is taking that photo and putting it on social media and just saying, this is my raw, real self and just stepping up because you'll find that there will be other people that will resonate with exactly that same message. The imperfection and the authenticity that you portray in doing something like that is going to inspire other people. So go on, take that action. Anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. This video is what it is and all of my videos are exactly that. They're just as they come out. So sometimes they're absolutely messy, but appreciate the love and support. If you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.